So I've got this clip sent in from Tom. They're up by Tower Hill. They're going past Tower of London on the right, even though you can't sit behind this little car. She pulls to the left and then she pulls to the right. That little left and right move, you know, like when you've had too many beers and you're on the dance floor, you give it the left and then the right. And now she's going to go across the double white line. But no, because the angle that she put her car in, she made it her own private little stop line. Dear, oh dear, small car, small IQ. Welcome back to Road Morons, everybody. This is the place we watch idiots and morons doing dangerous, stupid, brainless and lawless stuff in and around the streets of London. This little road here, I'm going down there. It's a little tunnel. We call it the Back Cave. It's actually called Lower Robert Street. Runs from Adam Street, just behind the Strand, down onto Savoy Place, uh, which leads on to Victoria Embankment, which is the road which runs by the river. Yeah, so in the first half, we're going to get the cars, and then in the second half, we're going to go to the bikes. So you've got this clip here, sent in by Shrew Inc, and we've got two cars sitting at the traffic lights, we've got a bike sitting at the traffic lights, all following the highway code, all following the traffic laws, and the blue car pulls off. But the only thing he's following is his instinct to be a moron, risk the cyclist's life, and damage his car and the car next to him. Well done, stellar job. And did you see he was proper gone like a robber's dog, mate? Okay, so here I am. I've just turned into Whitcomb Street, a little one-way street around the back of Leicester Square. And what have we got? We got, <laughs> we got the standard Uber idiot who comes up the one-way street the wrong way. They're drawn to one-way streets the wrong way like moths to a flame. Now, we come up here easy enough, and now he's struggling. Have a look. Left, right, left. The only thing I can think what's making him struggle is he's got an invisible trailer, and it's all over the gaff. Okay, so in this clip, you've got Andy going down St Pancras, just sort of by the station there. Always lots going on, always got to be careful. And there's a lot more going on. Well, a lot more going on on the road. Not much going on in the brain of that driver was in that Prius, let me tell you. So I'm waiting at the lights up by Archway Station. The white van goes through and then this black car's going through. But it's not the black car's fault. The black car's actually broken down and the white van is towing him with an invisible tow rope. That's why I couldn't stop. So here's a little clip from Andy, he's going up the road here, but he can hear something. Oh, two for the price of one, double bubble, overtake and undertake in one. So here's Paul on the M4 on his way into London, passing one of the many exit slip roads there on the left. And this Uber idiot has turned the exit slip road into a joining slip road to the M4. Without any planning permission, no construction, no machinery, no nothing. Done it all by himself. It's about the only thing he can do by himself. Never cease to amaze me. There's Andy at the red light near King's Cross. But that Uber idiot isn't waiting at the red light. That red light was the wrong shade of red, not to his liking. So here's Paul turning right into Park Street from Mount Street. Park Street is a one-way road. Paul's going the right way. And this Uber idiot is going far from the right way. Uh, standard Uber idiot. Wrong way down a one-way street. Dear, oh dear. So we've got another little clip from Andy here. Now he's stopping at this red light up and we've got an Uber idiot on the right there. Light's still red and we've got a line bike stopping at the red light. No, 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 that's not right. Hold on. And the Uber idiot's gone through the red light. He was as shocked as I was. That ain't a real line bike. That's AI generated. No way a line bike stops at a red light like that. So that's it for the cars. Now we're going to move on to the bikes and we're going to do something very unusual. We're actually covering a live sporting event. The Tour de Lewisham cycling race. Let's go over there, see what's happening. And as you join us on the Tour de Lewisham, the riders are coming from Amersham Road, ran into Lewisham Way, and the man leading is Bob, a local man, lives Lehigh Road, regular in the rising sun. We're going to go to the aerial view now, and there's Bob in front. He's looking strong, he's looking powerful, he's got victory in his eyes, but he's gone the wrong way. Bob, where you gone? Well, then there's Bob. He's gone across the zebra crossing while the pedestrian's there. The pedestrian doesn't realise he's an entitled cyclist and should jump out of the way. My goodness, Bob can see victory, but Bob's gone. He can taste victory. The only victory he can taste is a victory of going on a zebra crossing while there's a pedestrian using it. Clip sent in from Seth here. He's just going up this road, squeezing past his van and that car approaching the junction. And we've got the entitled cyclist who doesn't need to go the right way. Round the traffic bollard, he goes his way round the traffic bollard because he's on his phone. Very important call, more important than his safety and everyone else's safety in the highway code. So here's Ali G, he's waiting at the red lights and there's two cyclists waiting at the red lights there. Well done, but a third one who's not waiting for anything. 
The pedestrians, the red light, nothing at all. He's not waiting. And there's a, no, there's another one. And the other one who was originally waiting, he's had enough, he's off. And there's another one going in. He shouted at the bloke who was standing there and waiting in the first time. What are you waiting there for? Oh, dear. I'll tell you what he's not waiting for. He's not waiting for an ambulance to cart him off to an accident and emergency because he's been hit by a car while he's going through a red light. That's what he's not waiting for. Okay, so here we got Michael been sitting at the red light because that's what we do. We sit at the red and then we go when it's green. That's what we all do. But not this entitled cyclist. He's quite the reverse. He probably goes on green and sits at red. What a donut. So here we can see that we've got the big rubbish truck blocking the cycle lane. And the entitled cyclist ain't having none of it. If the rubbish truck can block the cycle lane, he can block every other lane. Oh, what an absolute knob head. Knob head of the week right there. That was a bit wrong. I'll take that back. In fact, he's a success. A big success at disappointing his parents every day. Now, we've got a clip sent in here from Eddie's. And we can see that there's a big sign there, big red and white sign. It says, cyclist dismount. Um, he didn't get the memo. I wonder what he thought that sign actually meant then. Like, I don't put down in the comments maybe what you thought. And here's another one coming along here. Look, here we Oh, hang on a minute. He's stopping, but no, he's not stopping because he worked out he had equal rights because they're pedestrians, but he's a pedestrian but on a bike. So that's why he kind of like got hang on. A, oh, hold up. We got a couple here in matching kit, and in fact, in fact, they're matching the road sign. Look. What's that all about? Maybe they work for the council or something. They might as well have just like used them signs for like road furniture or something or, or, or ornaments or something like that. So here I am going down Shaftesbury Avenue approaching Cambridge Circus, stopping at the Zebra to let the pedestrians through. But this, <laughs> this food delivery rider is not stopping. The fact the mother had a child in a buggy pushing it across the Zebra is immaterial to him. Dear, oh dear. A bit of green pepper on the pizza. What's in the back of his delivery box has got more brains than what he has. Okay, so this next clip is sent to me by King Artie. But he said it's his mate. But he didn't give me his name. So that's why it says King Artie's mate. Anyway, he's driving up here. You can see this e-scooter in the distance. He's about to pass him. There he goes. And as he... Pa oh, no, but King Artie's mate has accidentally activated the magnetic field. And that would explain why the scooter swerved towards him. He was drawn by that strong magnetic pull. So this clip is from Helio, and you can see the bus stopping, but the line bike rider didn't stop. But it's all right. You can see his leg moving. He's okay. He went down like a sack of spuds falling off the back of the truck. Let me tell you. Here he goes. Boom! <laughs> bus is full, obviously. So we've got this safety conscious rider in the high vis. Oh, she's not that safety conscious. She's about as safety conscious as a lemming off a cliff. Dear, oh dear. And this gentleman, he's stopping. Good man. Still, this is Dulwich Village. Very affluent, very wealthy area. Maybe some sort of different entitlement around there. We don't know. Okay, so this next clip is sent in from Paul. And this clip is a warning. This isn't really for entertainment or comedy. Right, see the green arrow? That's a phone thief, yeah? Now, see the red arrow? That's a poor, innocent person walking along texting or looking at their phone whatever now as you can see i've slowed it down and zoomed in as best i can you'll see the arm go out ready you'll see it there it goes the arm's gone he's got the phone and they're off and that's all it takes everybody a couple of seconds not concentrating minding your own business and these low lives have gone you'll see the person the poor person in a minute running after them hang on but yeah there they are that's it so everybody please be careful keep your phone away please and that's all for now everybody thank you very much for watching till the end if you like what you see please like subscribe and hit that little bell notification button so you don't miss one when i put the next one out thanks for all the usual crew sent stuff in andy paul helio seth arty ali g and michael and also thanks to everyone else who sent stuff in if i didn't use it in this video i will use it in a subsequent one don't worry the link to King Artie's Twitter and TikTok is down in the description box below if you'd like to take a look at that. And thanks again for watching and see you in the next one, everyone.